My name is Dr. Rohit Dahl. I'm one of the neurologists at UAMS. We do have a, a botulinum toxin clinic or a Botox clinic for management of several neurological conditions. Botox is approved and has been used safely for about 20 years for management of several neurological disorders. The initial ones that were treated were a condition called dystonia, or abnormal tone of the muscles that causes uh, body parts to assume a contorted or twisted position. A lot of times, dystonia can be focal, can affect one, one part of the body, for example, the neck or the eyes, or uh, in, especially in kids, they can develop generalized dystonia that starts in a body part and spreads to the rest of the body. When dystonia is focal, uh, it generally affects people in their later life, in the 40s and 50s onwards. And usually at that age, it's hard to use some of the medicines that we use in kids for dystonia because they may cause problems with confusion or they may be poorly tolerated from a cognitive perspective, from an ability to think perspective. Then we think of options that may be targeted to the muscles that are overactive. Botox is one of those therapies FDA approved for management of dystonia. It's quite safe and quite effective. In our botulinum toxin clinic, we treat dystonias, we treat blepharospasm and hemifacial spasms. We do have a big migraine population that we treat for chronic migraines which do not respond to other medications with botulinum toxin. And uh, we also at times use Botox as an adjunct, as an additional therapy for focal issues in Parkinson's disease, overactivation muscles in Parkinson's, or in essential tremor, trying to calm down some of the muscles that are driving the tremor. Mm -hmm.